Hey, how you doing? Hi, oh, hi, James. Hey, Verville. What's up? I'm sorry for the lateness. I've been traveling in America. I've been enjoying my time on something us left-wingers like to do, go on fish tour. Well, anyways, I wanted to, first of all, touch base with you on a number of issues. First of all, sincerely, I apologize to Sean. While I had every right to judge his taste, I had no right to, to essentially slander him and call him a pedophile. And for that, I am sorry. I, yep, going bald. I apologize. So, the issue of Dokdo, we agree, is, is, is that Dokdo is Korean. And you brought up the fact, you, you're a conservative, you're, you're a conservative punk, I assume, in the straight edge movement. And I have respect for you. First of all, I, I'm, I have many scenes. I I'm, I'm do many things. But one scene that I do identify with is the fish Grateful Dead scene. When I was in Worcester, Massachusetts, seeing the dead for a two-day stint, um, they, were, they were also having a punk festival. Uh, it seemed like a relatively conservative punk festival. And I, yeah, I talk to people when I'm out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not always the big blabbermouth on YouTube. So, again, I do apologize to Sean. Seriously. Jinja, Jinja. Anyway, um, I talked to some of the, the punks, and um, they had some really interesting things to say. Uh, not all of them were straight edge. Some of them partook in some things, but um, uh, a lot of them, you know, had respect and were interested in, in this hippie or neo-hippie. I know it's all fake, whatever, culture, but, you know, I do have respect for what you're doing. So, you raised a very important issue. Is Dokdo, is, is my involvement in, do in the Dokdo issue right wing? No. And here's how I, here's how I feel. I feel that Korea... I, first of all, I feel that when we have, we really only have right-wing nationalism when, when a nation is, is extremely powerful and becomes imperialistic and hegemonic. Examples, the British Empire, very hegemonic. Uh, Japan, during World War II, the legacy of the imperialistic Japanese carried out with the Yokudantai is branded as extremely right wing because they were in favor of imperialism and hegemony. Uh, also essentially in the United States under the far right wing Bush administration America waged war. So in dealing with Dokto and nationalism we have to think about the response to these hegemonic imperialistic institutions as essentially being in many ways left wing. We have independence movements, many of the freedom uh, movements. Uh, Hugo Chavez, everyone calls him left wing. He's nationalistic, but he's nationalistic against the hegemonic imperialistic nationalism, which is right wing, or, or fascism, uh, right, uh, the, the right, rise of the right wing in Russia. This is right wing. Defending a nation in its integrity is left wing. It's not getting out of the nation. It's it's a nationalism that's a reaction against the right wing hegemony. Venezuela, we have Evo Evo Morales and Bolivia. You know, we could we could say the Cuban Revolution, but let's not let's not get too far on that. Why is Dokdo? essentially, in my opinion, a left-wing issue because it is the response against a hegemonic imperialistic urge, the Japanese Empire, because Japan sure as hell doesn't need one more little island. Come on! Look at the Japanese Empire. It's the only nation still with an empire. It stretches basically from the Arctic to the tropics is the Japan is a large country relatively don't let anyone fool you Korea is re, is responding in in this to imperialism and hegemony in a position that Korea even though the Republic of Korea South Korea as they call it in America even though the Republic of Korea is 
a free nation, a democracy buoyed by American troops as, as there are also American troops in Japan. I strongly feel that it still harbors feelings and tendencies in the, collect, in the Jungian collective subconscious of being a victim of hegemony, of being a victim of imperialism, thus responding as, as, as left wing, as, as an expeller, as an antagonist of imperialism and hegemony. So there's your answer, Verville. There's your answer, James. And the, I respect you. Respect what you're doing, and everyone, I hope uh, Koreans, I hope you enjoyed my Korean video. Tae ha you. Annyeong,